Here you go, Brian. I think this project calls for some flame proof. Yeah, this looks real good. What'd you do to it? Uh, well, I already sanded it down, knocked off the rust, took a wire brush to it, uh, and then I cleaned it up with some prep spray, and then I took some of the VHT primer and got it all ready for you. All right. That's a good base. It's a good base because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to top coat it with the VHT flame proof black. And, uh, you know, we have the header here. It's going to be, uh, it was almost impossible to paint an exhaust manifold or header on the engine itself. And plus, we had to get to the engine block to paint that. So we pulled it off, put it here on the table. And uh, this paint here is good up 1,300 to 2,000 degrees. So it's perfect for exactly what we're going to need here because these headers get really hot and we're going to need a, a coating that will withstand the heat. And uh, the absolute most important thing about this flame proof paint is curing. And if the paint is not cured properly, it will not work. It'll fail on you. So there are two ways to cure this paint, off the vehicle and on the vehicle. On the vehicle, which what we're gonna do because we don't have access to a, to a propane grill, we're gonna bolt it back on the engine. You're gonna wanna head, go ahead and start it up, let it idle for about 10 minutes, shut it off, let it cool down for 20 minutes, start it back up, idle again for 20 minutes, turn it back off, let it cool for 20 minutes, Start it back up again, let it idle again. You certainly don't want to get in and start driving down the road and get it real hot because the baking process is a slow process. And like I said before, if it's not cured properly, the paint will, it's gonna end up peeling on you. So you, you want to make sure it's cured and get nice and hard on there. All right, as you can see, this paint comes out. When it dries, it, it's a flat finish. It isn't a glossy finish. Now we do offer a satin clear. Uh, but the reason why this product isn't glossy is because the pigments that are in the paint, the high temperature pigments, uh, any type of gloss it just won't be as heat resistant. So all the flame proof paints that we have come out as a flat finish. All right, the first coat's down, first light coat is down. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and hit the back side of it. After that, I'll wait about probably another five minutes in between coats, get about two or three coats on here, and then we'll go ahead and bolt it on the vehicle, and that's where uh, we'll do our curing process. We'll go ahead and run the engine and let it bake on that way.